hello guys welcome to how to fix tech in this video guys i'm going to show how to use your secondary laptop as a monitor i'm going to use the windows 11 laptop as a monitor so first of all what you need to do is you need to make sure that both are connected with the same network so this is the first step you need to troubleshoot and let me show you its network as well you can see here the both are connected with the same network so make sure you have connected with the same network so i have already tested all the troubleshooting steps in this video but i just want to show you how to do that start from the scratch so go to the laptop where you want to make the secondary monitor in this case i'm going to use this windows 11 okay so click on start menu here and then click on settings and once you go to setting click on this option setting system click on system and you need to scroll down and look for this option optional feature click on it and once you click on it you need to add the one feature here which is wireless display so click on this option view features and we need to type our wireless display if it is already installed in your system it will not come here take this option and click on next now click on install and it is going to install now so just wait here so if you are using the both laptop or windows 10 go to start menu then click on settings and click on system and you will see here optional features just click on add and also search your wireless display as you can see I have already installed in this laptop it is not coming up so go to projecting this PC option here as, I, as you can see here it is done here okay and do the same setting here always available everywhere okay choose this option first time and require pin never and just off this option if it is on like this off this option so we are done with the setting so it is almost so it is installed now you need to restart the system guys it is recommended to restart the system so let me restart and if you are using the system to the laptop you can follow the same steps now let me log in so once you have restarted the system guys we need to we need to make some changes as well from here go to settings and go to system this option and then go to projecting this pc which i have already told you in windows 10 pc and do the same setting here everywhere okay first time only pin never and just untick this option now we are done okay this should be the same setting here so here on the search bar we need to type here wireless display and once you search here the wireless display you can see here the wireless display just you need to open this now let me maximize this so this is my host name Dell okay so go to the another system I mean the laptop and we need to press window plus P button this is the window key okay and this is the P button we need to press it simultaneously and once we press we need to click on this option connect a wireless display 
this is the option and this will try to detect the you can see here so as you can see here the Dell laptop is here and the Dell display is here click on this option and it is going to connect now as you can see it is connected now both are connected okay so if you want to it should be duplicate display in your case like this both will be looking same as it is let's say I open the Google Chrome okay so both opening the Google Chrome as you can see here but I want to extend the display so that I can do the multitasking press window plus P button here and click on extend the display here is the option now I can drag the this Google Chrome to this okay and I can open the another tab into this like if I want to open the MS Paint as you can see so I can do the multitasking in both laptops and we have made successfully made this as a secondary display so as you can see the display is not usable full since my Dell laptop is old one and this one is new its resolution is very high but you can change the setting just right click here click on display settings once we go to display setting go to the first monitor as you can see its resolution is recommended 1900 but you can change the board display like this one is 1300 to which is recommended and this 1300 into 768 this option keep changes go to advanced display we can also change this and now you can also identify the which we want to make the primary so if I want to make it primary click on this option and then click on this option make this primary this make this main screen and if I want to make the second screen primary I can also do that you can see here option now so this has become now my primary screen hope this video useful for you guys if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix tech